Let's take a look at building a basic walk cycle. What this is going to allow us to do is work with some keyframes and, uh, and make some adjustments and do some poses and, and get this guy moving. So uh, I chose this character. It's just a basic biped. And we're going to do a biped walk cycle. It's going to be a looping cycle. It's going to be a cycle that will, um, once it gets to the end, it's going to repeat and repeat and repeat. So it'll just keep walking and walking and walking. Now, one of the things that you have to decide early on is, well, you can kind of toggle back and forth, but whether you want to work with auto key. And auto key is going to automatically create the keyframe for you after you've moved an item, okay? And uh, each artist is going to kind of decide which way they like to work. And I kind of like to work both ways. Uh, for doing this walk cycle, I'm going to go ahead and turn auto key off. By default, it'll be on, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And then we've got to decide, um, you know, how, if we're going to make a looping animation, how long do we want that looping animation to be? And in a basic walk cycle, it's roughly a, a, about a second, and uh, that's 30 frames per second. And so I'm going to go a little over 30 frames, and I'm going to choose 36 frames. Okay, so 0 to 36 in my timeline. And the other thing I'm going to do is I, I find it easy to... I find it easier to animate when I've got multiple windows. So I'm going to go ahead and work with a double vertical setup so that um, I can select in some of the windows and kind of see what's happening in my side view. And you might work with four windows or more. Um, it kind of just depends and, and I kind of change it up uh, every time that I work. So I'm going to go ahead and just work with uh, two windows here. And I'm going to jump right into animating and I'm going to start with the legs. I've got basic IK set up on the legs, so whenever I move my goal, um, this uh, null object that's set up like a box, whenever I move that, I'm going to uh, lift the entire leg. Now one thing to note is because I turned off auto key, if I move the frame slider, it snaps back into place. Okay, I'm going to use that to, to my advantage while I'm animating uh, and when I'm setting up my keyframes. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to start by um, posing the leg back. Okay, so I'm going to take this leg and, and pull it back and I'm going to keyframe that. Now because I have auto key off I need to hit enter and then it lets me know that I'm creating a keyframe at frame zero and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And because I want my first and last frame to, to be the same so it'll loop, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter again and hit 36. So I set a keyframe at the beginning and I set a keyframe at the very end. I'm going to take the other leg and do the exact opposite. I'm going to have the leg going forward and keyframe at 0 and keyframe at 36. So because I have um, auto key off, uh, I may, I'm going to manually set the keyframes, but it's also going to allow me to do this. Whenever you're doing a walk at the halfway point, your legs are going to be doing the exact opposite thing. So I'm going to slide this back. Now I'm on frame zero, but when I hit enter to set the keyframe, I'm going to set it at the halfway point, which would be 18. Okay, so see it set a keyframe right here on 18. If I move the frame slider, it snaps back into place because we didn't have auto key on. So that leg comes back and then comes forward. So now all I have to do is slide this leg forward, and I'm just matching it up with the other um, leg. It can be a little different, but I'm going to go ahead and match it up with that leg and on keyframe 18 hit uh, create a keyframe. So I'm going to push play and now I've got this little shuffle going on with the with the legs. So it's kind of a walk, but he really needs to pick up those uh, giant feet uh, so he doesn't trip over himself. So what I'm going to do is at the halfway point between 0 and 18, it's it's really the halfway point between the, the leg moving forward I'm going to go to frame 9, which is the halfway point from 0 to 18, and I'm going to raise the leg up so that he's actually taking a step. Okay, and I'm going to create a keyframe. Now while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the back leg. Okay, and I don't want that to be keyframed at 9. I want it, it's moving forward from 18 to 36, so I'm going to create a keyframe at 27, the halfway point there. Push play. Okay, so now I've got a, a basic little uh, stepping pattern going on there, and I want to um, 
take the center of gravity, take the root, and have it kind of drop down and go up and drop down because your center of gravity is going to kind of do this wave as you're doing a walk. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back to frame zero, and from the I can just click here. Okay, but from the current drop down item, I can also select there if that becomes easier. Okay, and I'm just going to say lower it down whenever he's stepping down. Okay, and I'm going to do that on frames 0, 36, and he's also doing it on frame 18. See, I'm doing it all from the um, from frame 0. I'm going to come over to frame 9, and when he's stepping up, I'm going to raise his center of gravity up. And he's also doing that on frame 27. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and push play. And so now he gets a little bit of a, a bob as he's walking by. Otherwise, if you put a, like a wall hiding part of his body, it would look like he was floating, just floating by. But now that he's raising up and down, he's actually taking steps. Okay, so he, uh, he's got the, the Raquel Welch thing going on with the arms hanging down by the side, kind of like in the Seinfeld episode. Well, I need to kind of do something with those arms or it'll look a little silly. So I'm going to move up to this arm and if the back leg here is forward this arm should be forward because it'll be the opposite arm that'll be moving forward this is what's going to allow us to kind of keep our balance okay so I'm going to go ahead and set a keyframe at 0 and 36 and then I'm going to take this back arm and do the opposite move it back at 0 and 36 and then at the halfway point we need to do the opposite so I'm going to move that one forward at 18. I'm going to use the arrow key forward and back and that refreshes it. Move back to this shoulder. Move that and at 18. Now move, uh, hitting the arrow key forward and back is the same as just moving the frame slider forward and back. I'm going to push play and now we've got the arms going. So now we got a little bit of animation on the arms. But when you move your arm forward uh, now he's a robot so we could get away with all kind of stuff but when you move your arm forward your shoulder kind of goes forward as well so what I'm gonna do is come back to frame zero and rotate the body forward a little bit and that's gonna be on frame zero and 36 and then if I come over to frame 18 we can see that this arms forward so let's rotate that forward and we'll set a keyframe Okay, so now it's got a little more motion going on, but we, we actually introduced a problem by doing this, and let, let's take a look. I'm going to move to um, the back view where I can see him walking towards us, and he's not really looking where he's going, and that's a problem. You should, you should be looking forward to see where you're going. So I'm going to grab this little neck brace here, and I'm going to rotate it forward and rotate it up. Okay, and let's go ahead and set a keyframe at 0, 36, and if we move over to frame 18, we'll see, well, he's still not looking forward, so I'm going to rotate that and set a keyframe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and push play, and we can see uh, his head's kind of rocking to the side, which is kind of cool, and we've got the, um, you know, we've got him looking forward, so he's not going to run into anything. Okay. So this is a basic setup for doing a walk cycle. We got a quick little walk cycle going. This could work for background characters, things like that. Not too much personality going on here. We could keep layering the animation. We could keep just blocking in the animation and getting more and more detail to this. But this should give us an idea. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the, in the left view. This should give us an idea of how we can go about and quickly set up, set some keyframes and set up a, a walk cycle. Okay, it's going to keep, it'll keep repeating, uh, and all we have to do is drop frame zero so that um, two frames won't be identical, and we have frames one to 36, and we've got a nice little uh, walk cycle here. So again, that's just a, a brief introduction to setting up a, a walk cycle. Now there's lots of things we can do to dress this up, but the one thing I want to do before we wrap up on this is if we push play, we can see that the feet are going 
through and now there's really no floor but it's going through the grid and let's treat the grid as the floor so what we'll do before we we call this uh, walk cycle finished is um, we'll go ahead and fix those feet and we never even animated the feet so we need to kind of set some keyframes for those so I'm gonna come back to, to frame zero and we'll start with this foot so I'll select it and I'm gonna rotate it up so that it's somewhat flat and create a keyframe at zero and 36 and I'm going to go ahead and grab my IK goal and I'm going to raise that up at 0 and 36. Go back to the foot and rotate that foot to, to level it off. Okay, so I'll go ahead and create a keyframe. And then I'm going to scrub through. He picks up. And I'm going to say that at frame 9, I'm going to rotate that down. Maybe maybe rotate it up just a little bit. Create a keyframe. Comes down at 18. And let's do heel to toe. So I'm going to select the IK goal. Raise it up some here. Hit uh, enter, enter to create a keyframe. And then at frame, let's say 20, I'm going to rotate. So at frame 18, I'm going to create a keyframe for the foot and at frame 20 I'm going to rotate that foot down and set that IK goal to bring the whole leg down. Create a keyframe, come back to the foot. I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit more like that. Okay. So that the leg comes up, we hit the the heel, it it then snaps down to the where the foot becomes flat okay and then I'm just going to take this this keyframe right here adjust it up a little bit take a look in frame zero okay so we've got a little setup there now we've got uh, some things going on with the foot and I'm gonna want to adjust those so what I can do is go into the graph editor so I'm gonna go open up the graph editor and on the pitch I'm gonna take these keyframes and I'm gonna see what happens if I set the tension to one okay? and see if I like this better slaps down and actually what I'm gonna do is on frame 27 I'm gonna key frame the foot down, set a keyframe, and then I'm going to take these keyframes right here and I'm going to set it to linear. Okay, So the foot comes down and now it doesn't do that little bobbing action that was down there. So you can adjust the TCB curves or you can just change the curves to linear just to, to kind of dress that up. So let's go ahead and do that looks much better because the foot's not going through our, our imaginary floor and we're not getting uh, uh, any weird movement with the foot. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other foot. We'll, we'll do a, a, a slightly different setup. Instead of um, heel to toe, we'll just have it come slamming down. But the first thing we need to do is make sure that, um, let's say on frame 18, I'm going to set a keyframe for this foot and then I'm going to go to the IK goal and just raise that up like we did before. Create a keyframe, select this foot, rotate it up some, and I'm just going to budget being a little picky here, but that's okay. I'm going to create a keyframe and create a keyframe. Okay, and then when it comes up, on frame 27, rotate it a little bit, and then when it comes down, I'm going to, instead of it hitting the heel, I'm going to go right for the foot like this. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, we got a little spot where on, let's say, frame 9, I'm going to rotate that foot down and create a keyframe. And we need to adjust the curve a little bit just so that it doesn't go through the, the floor. So I'm going to go to the graph editor and I'm uh, going to go ahead and set, 
let's see, when this is coming forward, I'm going to just see if I can adjust the tension. No, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just set this to linear. and set I'm just kind of scrubbing through so that I can see what's going on I'm actually going to go to my IK setup and in the Y I'm going to set this to linear okay ah much better okay and let's go back to the foot and take a look at uh, our rotation. And I'm going to set the rotation for this to zero and see what that looks like. Okay. And actually, that didn't do what I wanted, so I'm just going to rotate that back. Okay, so there we go. Now, if I push play, we've got our character walking. We've adjusted the feet a little bit. We can go back and go into the graph editor and, and tweak our curves. You can also come over to the Modify tab, and under Tools, you can work with Move TCB. You can do that right inside the, the viewport, which is kind of nice. Uh, but we've got our basic little walk cycle. We made sure that our feet aren't going through the floor. Um, we we need to understand that when you have three points on a curve, it tries, LightWave's trying to smooth that out for us. And sometimes we have to say, well, I don't want it smooth. I want it linear. I want it to, to be a straight line. So we can go in and adjust that in the graph editor. So that was just a, a, a quick look at, uh, at refining our walk cycle. So we've got our basic walk cycle that we can set up really fast. And then if we want, we can keep going in. We can start rocking the shoulders from side to side. We can uh, rock the hips. We can make the head bob. And depending on how much time we have for our animation will depend on how far we, we take it. But if you need a really quick walk cycle, uh, this can be a, a, a quick setup that can work. And uh, it'll get you into setting keyframes and uh, adjusting the keyframes in the graph editor.